but now you want to go bot scuttle and you want so basically like you haven't really impacted the game yet yes your invade on top was good but you're missing a big 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 win like many big wins actually you're missing the kill on brand you're missing his raptors here you're missing um your parting efficiency to play around bot lane in the dragon I wouldn't say what you're doing is wrong. It's more so just like you're not you're missing a big game winning play. You know what I mean? It's like your play is yeah, fine, sure, sure, sure. but it's not like it's not good enough to get you to master tier, which is what you want, right? Yes, yes, exactly. I want to be like there's a huge difference, <laughs> I notice. What's up everyone? Just letting you all know that the Jungle Get Patreon is now available with three different tier lists. So if you want to gain access to full coaching sessions, tier lists, group coaching sessions, and much more, head on over and check it out. So we can have a good idea. Okay, so the first thing is when we're in when all ten champions get locked in, I want you to think about the game and about the pathing and I'm going to send you these three things but I, I want you to have kind of a checklist that you okay. can think about okay. every game right and the three things on that checklist are win conditions this is talking about stuff like in this game you have a draven so he may be a win condition you have things such as grubs you have things such as dragon dragon soul right all these kind of things scaling who mm -hmm. scales who 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 you know who outscales these are the kind of win condition questions right that you want to ask yourself when all 10 champions get locked in um the next thing on the on the checklist is the lane matchups. So where can I get a kill early game? So we're going to analyze the lane matchups. Where can I get a kill? Which lanes are going to be volatile and which lanes do I have gank set up? Okay, this is the second question. The third question is the jungle matchup. What does he want to do? What do I want to do? Can he invade me? Can I invade him? Where should I use my trinket? So these three questions you're going to ask yourself every single game when the 10 champions get locked in. And... I want this checklist to not be too overwhelming, right? Because we need to do this pretty quickly, right? We don't have that much time before we actually load in. Yes. So the sooner you can start thinking about this question, the better, right? So first question, let's go over in this game. Let's pretend, you know, we're in, we're in champion select right now, right? And all the 10 champions are locked in. Let's go through win conditions. So I'm going to ask you some questions now, okay? Sure. Which team do you think outscales this game? If there's Let, no... uh, The blue side team. Blue so side you think, yeah, the blue I side. Mean... Yep. Okay, because the they brand, have like, Kogmo, Yone, yeah. Yone, y y yeah, and Yasuo. Exactly. Okay, so we think yes. the enemy, and also you know, brand, all very good scaling. Yeah. Um. So if the enemy team outscales, right, and we're gonna go to the next question now. I mean, the next thing of the win conditions. Okay, so mm -hmm. if the enemy team outscales, what do we want? To, like, denying Grubs this game would be good, right? Because they have like two split push champions, yes. Yone and Yasuo. Yes. So denying two Grubs is good, but do we really care about getting six Grubs? No, we don't have much split pushing. Split push. Okay, so what? Like, yeah. So enemy team outscales, so we need to win early game. So what does that really mean? Uh, what objective do we need? Dragon I need or to, I, dragon? Yeah. And yeah. also I need to put pressure into the win conditions. I guess. Good. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So so what would be a good game plan this game? So we kind of thinking already. We want to deny grubs if we can. But mostly of all, we have a Draven and a, and a Blitzcrank. So now we're going to move to the next question, which is we're going to think about the lane matchups and where we can get a kill early game. Um, in Also, you know, taking into consideration our win conditions, right? So Draven is kind of a win condition, right? Because, you know, if you get him a kill, he's going to do good. If he just dies and gets left, you know, if he gets less, left for dead yeah, in the yeah. bot lane, he's not going to do too good, right? So obviously this game, we kind of want to play around bot and dragons. Because we need the Dragon Soul, we need Bolling to be ahead, and we need to end this game before the enemy team scales. And the yes, third, the yes, third, so I need... yeah, yeah, please, please, you continue. And okay. the th yeah, so the third question is how can we path? Now we're going to create our path in terms of you know the jungle matchup. Bran, most likely, what does he want to do? He wants to full clear just in very fast because he can full Good. clear in three ten or something, yep. and yep. then gank or reset and. Yeah. yeah, retry. Good. And and um, do we beat him level 3? Like, if we were just in his red buff level 3 while he's on his red buff, would we win? Yes, yes. I generally do that to Brands. Yeah, to exactly. That, Good. I, yes. In this game, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, we win but, level 3. Yeah. The, the, the reason why you have to ask these questions is... 
Um, cause it's going to start to form your game plan. So now we already have a kind of a good game plan, right? We, we know that we win level three. We know that we want to part towards bot and we know we want to play for dragons, right? So three things are already in our game plan. We're starting to get a kind of a, a solid game plan here. So the third question is for us to invade him, we kind of need to know where he starts, right? Yes. So you said that you usually, usually every game you use your trinket on the opposite side camp and you full clear. So this is a very like yes. non-adaptive game plan style already when you told me this i knew that this checklist would be very very mm -hmm. good for you because it mm -hmm. allows you to think more more adaptability and more impact on the game you see how potentially this game right if we ward one of his buffs so we either ward the raptors or the blue buff potentially if he starts the blue here and we start the red three camp invade question maybe yes or he starts red buff and he passes to top and then we just part the bot and impact the bot lane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is this is what our game plan should be this game. Parting to bot. Do we want to gank top with Malphite? No, not until level six, maybe. Because at level six, he gets his ultimate and you know we have gank set up now and we can get a free kill. Yeah. Um, other things you can look at as well as like summoner spells, like mid has ignite, so that's an advantage. But of course, yeah, the, the priority on this game is to play around the bot lane. Do you have any questions about any of these this checklist? Because this checklist oh, no, is, very... it is it's very clear. Yeah, it's very clear. I just need to do this, you know, in autopilot. Exactly, like, and that's why... my autopilot because <laughs> not because yeah, uh, I am doing every game. I need to be conscious, you know. You yeah. need to be conscious. You can't. Or your autopilot right now is what you said to me. Ward my other buff yeah. and full clear. Yes, ninety percent. Yeah. But you're missing out on so much detail. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if. It is Diana or Brand. I generally try to kill or catch. But you could but do this on many. Yeah. You could do it on many on many different champions. Like, um, yes, it makes more sense because like Brand's win condition, like his identity is to full clear and, and cycle camps and stuff like that. That's kind of your win. That's kind of your identity as well. Cycle camps and get level six, and then ulti on people and get free kills. That's kind of Nocturne's identity. Um, but also you have to think. You know, is a Brand going to expect you to invade? You also have to think of, of that as well. Like he probably expects you to also just full clip. Yes. yes. So maybe he lets his guard down. Mm, okay. Okay. So here, this is already good. This, you know, having a having a blitz crank. What does this mean? It means that you could potentially walk in here and get a ward down, right? Because kind of they have to respect yeah. you. So when we're looking to go for a ward, we need to make sure that we ping our team, and we can get a ward on his buff. Also, another thing. Um, I'm already. I'm already not liking how big your minimap is. I would like it to be this big. Uh, ah, so bigger. Okay. Bigger. Yep. I want I want this to be bigger. Like, okay, because because it was larger than this yellow one, uh, and then I have oh you had it bigger. Vision. It was very large. It was okay. like yeah, like this, okay. Like this we need a nice. Vision, so I... We need a nice okay, in between. Okay. Maybe not this big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we, we <laughs> okay, need okay. the reason why we need bigger than this is because the map is very 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 important for information. Very important. Yeah, yeah. Extreme. I, I, I would I would prefer you have your map like this than your map like this. Okay. Okay. It's actually more Oops. important that you have your map bigger, even if it covers okay. half your screen. Okay. So it's yeah, it's literally more important than you having more visibility in your game. But you know, a nice medium is good, right? We we just want to be able to glance, like we don't want to have to turn our head or like squint at this, <laughs> you know. Yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. is very important. We just want to glance at it every one, every every like two to five seconds. We want to glance. Yeah, I am. I am doing that. I improved that uh, because yeah. I am jungle. I'm always, exactly yeah. jungle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And let's think about this ward now. What does this ward do for us? We just talked about how Brand wants to full clear. So what is this ward doing for us? It's a. It's kind of a defensive ward, right? I would expect. E yes. I would expect mm -hmm. you to do this ward versus like a Xin Zhao that's going to do like Raptors and invade you or like red buff and invade you. This is what I would expect from this ward. So this was a this is this was a good ward in a game where you're not going to invade, right? Where you want to play defensive. Yeah, but I in this game I didn't play to catch the brand. Yeah. But I put this here and I tracked where he started. I mean if he gets help of course. He might not get help, but in this game he got help. So I think I go from raids to enemy blue uh, ramp okay. and then go back to my own jungle. But okay. uh, I thought if I want to see if he goes vertical, you know. Okay, good. Okay, would this yeah. be, if he goes vertical, who's winning in this game? 
uh, he's winning Good. because he will yeah. be on the bot side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very bad. If they... I didn't think about this. Yeah, exactly. Think about very this. bad yes. if the game goes vertical because yes. like now all of a sudden we're playing around our Malphite pre six lane, and he's yes. just like he's just has like full like now your bot lane can't even play the game. So very 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 bad if 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 you see Brand walking into your blue side. What do you do? What's your reaction? Is it your reaction to take his blue side? No. Your reaction is to go and kill him. Ah, okay. Because Brand is very weak. He's a mage, right? Okay. So if, if you find him yeah, in your yeah. jungle, you're just going to completely destroy him, right? Yeah, if I, if I use my W correctly, yes. Exactly, yeah. I mean, yes, yes. I mean, and then people, you know, if you see him here, like your laners will be able to react first because yeah. you already have the information that he's walking in. Okay, that's one thing I also rarely considered like this okay okay because i find the walking you know let's say i done raids yeah go to blue and then cracks uh not the crack uh grump, grump yep. and then i see him walking onto my blue side okay oh yeah, uh, yeah. probably i would find the walking distance too long and only ping Good. my layers okay. but yeah it is this wrong, is probably. no yeah. this is correct okay so now that you've already okay so let's let's actually do that example really quick you do this right but by the yes, time yes. you okay, so the, by the time you do this, it will be around like two forty, right? Around this time. Yes, yes. And he will take three camps as well. This ward will, I mean, this ward will last until uh, you place it at one ten. It lasts ninety seconds. One ten, yeah, yeah. So it'll be so it'll be around like two forty, right? Yes. So the ward yes. will die by this time. So what else? If he does three camps at two forty, you do three camps at two forty. This ward will not matter anyway. So this mm. ward only matters if he does one camp or two camps if he does raptors and invades i mean this is like the most unlikely thing ever for a brand but let's just say okay. he does right and you're you've done raptors and then you start walking here and by the time he walks here so you guys are like mirrored right now right so what are you going to do in this situation yeah. are you going to still go to his I blue i will go to his blue and pinging my laners i mean that is my honest yeah. answer yeah exactly good 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 and this is and this this would be wrong because like you need to just go here and kill him Okay, okay, okay. I I always um, yeah. I mean, it's a contra. Oh, okay, it's a neat stuff for me because I'm uh, too obsessed on wasting time. Good. So I this mean, walking would be like twenty seconds, but yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Because he will not be. Well, leaving. he will die yeah. almost a hundred percent if you ping your laners okay. to go there. He will die like one hundred percent. It would be. It would still probably be worth even if you ran here and, and you don't die. It would still be more worth to do this and stop the slip split map. Okay, let's say for another scenario now, the scenario that you're talking about. Okay, you do this, and you're on Gromp, and then Brand does three camps here. Actually, no, this is the same scenario. You would still run here, because the the, the you would almost guarantee killing him. In scenarios where you're too far, so say you, you did like this, right? And then you're on red buff now. Now you're on red buff. You're killing your red buff. And now he shows up. Um, he does like three camps like this, and shows up and ganks your bot lane. Um, I mean, you would still go and match him. I'm trying to think of a, about a scenario where you wouldn't match. There are some like circumstances. Maybe I mean, crux, but I would yeah, be in crux. Yeah, you wouldn't be in crux, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you never want to run from like other side of the map. Okay. Yeah, sure, I think sure. this will probably show up. We'll come back to this point in this game. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Let's watch the game now. So you see that game plan as well. You need to be very quick at doing this game plan. Right? And it'll take yes, some practice. Yes. But with practice, you know, comes... Um, improvement and it'll become like you said more autopilot so the fact that you're actively doing something is good i like this already that you're doing something it's just your adaptations and how you think is incorrect but the okay. fact that you're doing something is good the fact that you think he wants to full clear i want to stop him from just getting that free full clear is very good but let's see the adaptation so i'm going to ask you here what so now you want to go back to red and then and then clear down, right? Yes. Good. Okay. Red crux base. Yeah. Red crugs. Interesting. Yes. Because I would want to be but here. I would be thinking I want to get my red, and because now I have such a lead, what is Brand's options after I clear this and go to my red? What's what's Brand's options? Options is uh, he will gank mid or top, and then there's. I see there's no gank from the minimap, probably top scuttle and go back to his uh, bottom side chain. So so what if so what if he um um okay, what if he has a ward here? That's the first question. So he knows that you're doing this. So imagine 
imagine now, okay? Imagine you do your clear. Yeah. You do these two camps. He has a ward here. Yeah. He does these three camps and gank spot and you're doing Krogs yeah. and red and basing. Yes. Instead of making sure to cover your camps. So when you get mm -hmm. this camp lead, you need to make sure that this is only a camp lead if he doesn't get these camps. Do you, you see that, yes. right? Yes. It's only a lead yes. if he doesn't get yours. Because if he gets yours as well, this is just a trade. Okay, okay. I thought, I mean, the cracks give more XP, so I want them to reset, but it is not. But it's too far. Yeah, now. it's too, it's it is, too yeah, far, it's, from, it's too far. From here. Yeah. yeah, this is a, you yeah, see, this is a good example of why you wouldn't go red to Krugsy. You would go red and collect all your bot side. Also, you want your camps to kind of spawn. So, so this is true, what you would true, do, true. right? In, yeah. Exactly, in cycle to your bot yeah. side. So, you would do this, right? And Bran has two options. He does this and then gank spot. And then by the time he walks in here to your blue side, you would have finished red and you'll be matching him now. So you always want to match. The Whenever your bot side is being attacked, you will you do not want this to happen. Okay. okay. You do not want okay. your bot side to be taken because then you're forced back to the top side. Okay, good. Okay. Good. I started doing this raid into blue invade after seeing your videos. You know. Yeah, it's good. They it... done it in LPL, etc. But yeah, uh, I'm not very used to that, and that's always in my mind. I mean, should I do red and then base to blue? The or adaptation. After red, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, adaptation. the adaptation is what you need to work on. Also, if you're going to do it, the adaptation now is to make sure that it works. Okay, the adaptation now is to start sweeper. So you actually want to start sweeper, and instead of warding this, you know how you were here at 110. You want to sweep mm -hmm. this area at 110. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I use my ward early, like 45 seconds it won't be or up. something. Yeah, it won't be up. And it then... won't... Your sweeper won't ah, be up. Ah, but it won't be up. I... Yeah. yeah, true, true. You have to I start to sweeper. Start sweeper. And then okay. let, let me explain these two scenarios. If you sweep here and it's, and it's, and it's empty at 115. So you want to sweep as late as possible as well, right? Because if you sweep here, you're still going to make it towards your Krugs when they spawn. I mean, your real mm -hmm. Raptors. So you want to sweep here as late as possible. If you see a ward here, what should you do? If you kill a ward here at 115, what should you do? What do you think? I will uh, full clear, I think. Good. Since very good. Yeah. Since he knows, now he's thinking, oh, this guy's going to invade me. He may do something very inefficient. He, maybe he does like red to blue. Or maybe he does like blue and skips his grump. So you're still doing the same thing where you're targeting brands full clear. So it still is effective. It's a small win. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Okay. So that's very good. Yeah, just full clear. Because now you should you should clear down efficiently while he is like freaking out about you invading him. Okay, so when you walk here, this is a good awareness. Your check. So always when you finish this gromp, even though we don't really want to gank top, we still need to look because once we leave this area, right? So once we do red, we're never looking top again because we want to be making sure we're on this bot side. Yes, so for yes. the next, you have to decide if you're going to gank top in the next five to ten seconds. So let's see, one, two. Three, four. Yeah, but I am. I am in. To to in my defense, it's yep. my duo, and we are in Discord. And oh, is top is your duo. Player. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. 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 That's I was fine. carrying him to Emerald. So I was trying to carry him to Emerald. Okay, this is fine then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. I mean, but, you see what I mean, yeah. though, right? Because because once yeah, you yeah, sure, sure, sure. Once you commit to this red, you're not going back top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because true. if you, I I try to also improve like uh, checking twice the lanes when whenever doing a camp. I'm yep. trying to do. Yeah, good. Start freezing, Yeah. Because the reason we don't go top here is one, because we have Malphite no gank setup. Two, if he just flashes away and then you're giving your entire top side, right? It's just it's just very bad. Yes, it's it's very risky and we are losing like fifty seconds or something. Exactly. Yep. Seconds. Yeah. So this yeah. so you see, okay. So the exact scenario yeah, that I said I happens. Pinked. Exactly. I know I pinked and so <laughs> continue he, to pull <laughs> So you if imagine if you did red here, right? <laughs> this brand yeah. is dead. He's dead. Think about yes, your timing. Yes, Watch. Yes. You do red. You pull the camp down. So now you'll be right about here. I will be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be like 320, 323. I will be in... On your blue, right? Okay, Brand. let's see. So yeah, Brian yeah. ganks. And then so you'll be... 323. And you kill. Yes. You kill, right? You kill Brand on your blue. With your bot lane. Yes, yes. You're correct, yes. Yeah. So the exact scenario that we said, right? So now, because we're this far, of course we're not going to walk now. So this is the scenario where you, you can't walk. You've already made the mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, basing is correct. Okay. Okay. But we should be wanting... So after our red here, we want to fight around bot. We want to fight the scuttle. We want to fight the blue. We want to fight everything here. Mm -hmm. If we can. 
obviously if our bowling is like dead or yeah. something obviously the scenario isn't like but if everyone is is in a normal in a normal game everyone's alive everyone's fine this brand is so weak at invading. Why does Brand only want to just full clear his jungle like this 24-7? Full clear, do a dragon. Full clear, do dragon. Why does he want to only do this? Because he's very fast clearing. And very and weak. He doesn't at... have very mobile. Yeah. yeah Good. He's, yeah. Uh, he's very... That's skirmishes, you know, immobile. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. He's just damage, right? Very squishy mm -hmm. yes. and very immobile. Yes. So if he ever crosses this river line, it's very easy to kill him. Okay, okay. So this was completely illegal, and you also have a Blitzcrank Draven. And they get a kill. Okay, this is nice for you now. Now, now, now you get carried by your team, which yes. is nice. <laughs> but, but after he dies here, right, why are you not going towards your Raptors? Because you want to clear from top to bot. Uh, because I wanted to... Ah, uh, yes, top to bot. Yes, yes, you're correct. Yes, I wanted to... Yeah synchronize the raptors with the tracks but then i would be clearing bot to top which is not my win condition yes exactly in that yeah align yeah. with the game plan yes. so uh, okay. like you could literally do scuttle raptors bot side camps bot scuttle and then i mean you can have a big because your lanes like bought you so much time it makes sense to be like super efficient now mm -hmm. because okay. where where okay. will brand where will brand go out of base do you think if you started bot side where is he going right now? Like 100%. Uh, he's both side, probably. He's going to his or Krugs. Top or right? both side, yeah. Probably I mean, for maybe top scuttle, but probably not, right? He's not. He's probably not yeah. going here. Yeah. He's almost 99% going to his Krugs, mm -hmm. and then he's going to do his Raptors. And then if maybe he takes the scuttle, this is like 50-50. So if we just do Raptors like this and match him here, maybe we don't go for scuttle. Like this could be up for debate. But if we just clear like this, there's no way that these camps are under threat. Is he going to run straight back into your... here? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So so definitely Raptors into bot here, into gank bot, or play for dragon. 100%. What you're doing right now looks like you want to invade his Raptors. Yes. You, you see what I mean by that? You're parting straight. Yeah, yeah. So now the map will become like this, where you don't care about top side. Mm -hmm. Because you're parting straight to the bot side here. You're trying to catch his Raptors. So this is only the correct play. Now, if I see you, you go straight to his raptors. Okay, which is... Nice. You see? Look, you could go to his raptors here, right? Because they're spawning. This is yes. his Krog spawn. So, let, I mean, you still have time. Yeah. You can still go to it. But you go back to camps. It's like... Yeah. Because I... Mm, probably I am too much obsessed with the... Uh, Void links, you know, the crabs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But in this game, they don't matter. And yet. this is where the checklist right. comes in, right? If you were yeah. conscious yes, about this yes. checklist, right? If you were conscious about playing around bot, you would almost certainly part like this. Yes. If you were conscious that the enemy outscales, if you're conscious that you want to play around Draven, you would play a lot different in this game already. Mm -hmm. But now you want to go bot scuttle, and you want... So basically, like, you haven't really impacted the game yet. Yes, your invade on top was good. But you're missing a big, big, big win. Like, many big wins, actually. You're missing the kill on Brand. You're missing his Raptors here. You're missing um, your parting efficiency to play around bot lane and the Dragon. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say what you're doing is wrong. It's more so just like you're, not, you're missing a big game-winning play. You know what I mean? It's like your play is yeah, fine, sure, sure, sure. but it's not like... It's not good enough to get you to Master Tier, which is what you want, right? Yes, yes, exactly. I want to be like. There's a huge difference. <laughs> I notice when I get has to say. Yeah, yeah, obviously. and and it yeah. it all has to do with your planning, your mm -hmm. decision making. So the the quicker you get information, it makes sense why you can't like. It makes sense why your decisions and your decision making is worse than mine because I'm considering so many so much more information and so many more factors. Does that make yes, sense? Yes, for sure. And yes, obviously, yes. you know, I have some game experience over you, but the, the reason why I can do this is because I'm considering all these factors. And the more time I have to consider these factors and information, the better my plan will be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First thing here, what I, I would say is pull it up. Right? Pull it up. You want, the, you want to be attacking them here, so you're not stuck here. So you can run this uh, way. Ah, yes, yes. And also three of them would be... And also, of course, yeah, you can you yeah. can hit them all. 
this is just this this is what i would call i don't know if it's um maybe just a bad habit or also bad um like kind of like a lack of discipline i guess because every single time you take an objective you pretty much always want to pull it out unless you know that they can't contest 100 percent. so if you yeah. see brand bot here or something you know that it's unlikely that they're going to contest so you can play more like greedy and just do it instantly but you know that brand is here because he's just take the scuttle yes so you have to play like by the book kind of if that makes sense okay okay and you have to be thinking about how you want to fight i think vex okay so mid laners Okay, this is a new some new information maybe you don't know. Mid laners hit six around five thirty to five forty five. Mm -hmm. Around this time, right here. So I think Vex okay, is actually okay. trying to play for level six. So you see more information is available to you. Mm. Vex is trying okay. to hit level six, and what happens if Vex is level six? Probably win the fight very very hard. Malphite is also about to hit level six. So if we just play slow here, right? Yeah. If we don't rush this down. Um. It'll work out a lot better for us. But obviously, yeah, the fight is already over. As soon as you get chunked to this much HP, it's it's over. Yes. And what else does pulling it out do? If you were attacking it here, right, you could just go on this guy with Malphite. True, true, true. But because true. you're hit, you have to hit this here, you can't make up this amount of space to get on him. And you also use your Q on it as well, obviously. Mm -hmm. So here, when he walks up to you, okay, I mean, obviously, yeah, you don't spell shield. And you take too much damage now. But we have to be thinking that whenever you start an objective and the and the and the, the the numbers are even, it'll always be a fight, probably. So we need to think about the fight. Who wins the fight? Pre six, who wins the fight? Okay, okay. It could be I mean this is it's like kinda close pre six, but I think Malphite and Vex are pretty useless champions pre six, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have to think when we're doing this, it's not just free because we have priority. Okay, people can always leave. It doesn't it's not like you can take this instantly, right? It takes a while. So we have to think about the fight as well. Okay, okay. And yeah, if you just played slow here and pulled them out, and then played slow here and just hit them and then wait for your team to kind of, you know, get six or get in position or whatever it is, then the fight could be favorable still. Okay, they end up getting it. And, you know, another thing in this game that I want you to realize. Obviously, in this game, we didn't think about the checklist, but of course, you know that piling to bot, playing for dragon, playing for bot is much better. And then on the second grub spawn, maybe you can play to deny too. Mm -hmm. But your job this game is to literally get dragon soul because your team is a full team fight comp, okay? You can't split push with Malphite. You can't split push with Vex. So all you're trying to do is you're trying to get dragons. What does gaining dragons do? What does it get when you have one, two? What happens on the third dragon? Does the enemy team fight you? Because they don't want you to get soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, we want fights. And we want to fight. Yeah, Good. they, they yeah, need to yeah. contest and we want to fight early to mid game. Exactly, yes. yes. We want to fight early to mid game because we have very strong ultimate abilities, but we have no split push. So we want to get the dragon to force them to fight us. And this is the win condition. Force the enemy to fight you. Okay. Okay, and now you see we're kind of lost because we don't have anything to do, right? Yes. We're a little bit lost because we have no camps. Um, but I'm telling you here, this is how this game, like me, I'm going to just demonstrate what this game should look like. Cause I think it's more valuable than mm -hmm. actually looking at the game. So this is what this game should look like from this round. Okay. This game should look like this path here. Take the scuttle if you can, if you, if you feel like he, I don't know, he's a psycho and he might go for your bot side camps path here, take the raptors, take the wolves, take the grump first, not the blue to make the cycle yeah, good. Sure. So we so you said you're efficient. Okay, so cycle, 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 blue. Um, and then either gank bot or take the dragon. You also know that Bran is clearing up, right? While you clear down. So what will happen here? He'll clear up. He'll be on the top side. You'll clear down. This dragon looks free, right? Yes. So we're looking to play for the dragon. Okay, say we take the dragon here. Um, and then, you know, we, you know, maybe some time passes. By the time you do all of this, right? What is spawning? Krugs. Yeah, yeah. So then after we take the dragon, we're going to reset. The Krugs are going to be spawning to top to bot again. Mm -hmm. Either okay. invade, gank bot, do use your tempo on the bot side. You know, get some vision, go for a blitz hook. Your tempo, mm -hmm. okay. So when you have this free time, so let's say you took the dragon. Now you're going to the top here. You're going to take your Krugs, your Raptors, your Wolves, your Gromp. 
But on this bot side, okay, so these are called your weak side camps. Okay, you want to take them straight away to get them off the map. But when you do this next clear, you can choose to skip camps and gank or invade or clear vision or whatever. Um, so by the time you get to this point, when you're going to take your wolves, you can choose to skip these camps because what, what happens is, let's say bot lane was super volatile right now and you need to run this straight away because it looks like a good gank. You run here, you gank. Even if you just get sums or flashes here, it's okay because you, these camps are in proximity for you to take them, right? Mm. Yes, so yes, you want to spend yes. as much time on the strong side as possible because once you go back to these camps now, you're still in proximity to come back to bot if there's more volatility happening. So you want to be bot all the time. You don't want them to be able to play the game. You want your Blitzcrank and your, and your Draven to play however they want. Okay. While you're clearing efficiently to bot and you're playing for the dragons. Does this all make sense? Yes, yes. Makes absolute sense. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking that... I was thinking about the win conditions, etc., but it seems not, not in a consistent way, at least, for example, yeah. in this game, I played it, yeah, like in random way, you know, clearing camps, do not lose time, but not having a macro plan. Exactly, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah.